Oh, hi there, Team Aaron. We are back with Pokemon White episode I don't even know, and it doesn't matter because this episode is super... It's not even important. It's just, like, I'm going to be ranting in this episode because, like, I are at the Abundant Shrine. Okay, that's cool. I think we're, like, at 121, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think so. It's because we had 120 at the Abundant Shrine. So, yeah. Basically, here's how today went. I was sick, right? And I went to sleep at 1 a.m., and I'm thinking, maybe I'll wake up on time and record, you you know? And they set my alarm, and I'm not even in my bed. I'm, like, on the couch downstairs. I'm that sick. So then I, you know, I wake up. I'm, like, uh... And, like, when I wake up, I'm not, like, entirely awake. I'm just, like, uh, I guess I'm, like, half awake. I'm just awake enough to, like, turn off my alarm clock. So I wake up, turn off my alarm clock, and I lay back down on the couch, and which isn't very comfy, but I'm really tired, okay? So then, I'm just like laying there, and I'm like thinking, wait, I was supposed to record today. Come on, stuff, get up, come on. Because, like, I've missed recording for two weeks. That means, you know, how I usually have five episodes recorded, every, like, like I, I have this week's five and next week's five recorded. So that way I'm really far ahead in case anything bad happens. It's like, I oh, know, I get sick, like, I've been sick for a while. I won't fall behind, but, yeah, I would have fallen behind, and, yeah, stuff like that if I didn't record today. I'm not even sure if I'll record, like, an entire ten episodes, or if it's just this one. In which case, this is awesome, because it's still one. But here's what happened. I'm barely, you know, awake, I'm, like, almost falling asleep, and BAM! The saddest song I've ever heard, like, legitimately, the saddest song I've ever heard, starts playing in my head. Like, and you're probably thinking, no way, or, like, you know... I don't believe it. What if you're just saying this for a story? Now think to yourself this. Wouldn't I usually take the time to explain what's going on? Like, I always try and tell a story in the games. I always do. Well, not always, but, you know, back in the day I never tried to. And nowadays I try to because back in the day I never really had much to talk about in the games. Now it's like, oh, I just can't shut up. Like, seriously, I could not shut up if I wanted to while this thing's going on. Actually, I probably could, but still. If it's a story to tell, I would probably tell it. And I'm, like, really... Just skipping all the stuff in the game I should be talking about, which isn't really much because we're going back into White Forest. So anyways, we're probably going to go up into Route, uh, Balls to the Face. Hold on, I don't, yeah, Route 10-ish. No, son, no, you have to go back into the notes. I'm a little too ahead. I'm reading these, I'm like, wait, this does not come now. It comes right over. And I'm, Okay, fine, I'll just tell you guys the story. So I heard the saddest song I've ever heard. Has that ever happened to you? It's like... And it's not like a sad song with music, it's like, I mean, uh, with words, it's an OST from a game I've heard. And it's not the sad, sad that's like, you know, puppies just died, it's more like, it's sad and it's like, this is what I fight for, or in the game fight for, or this is what I'm here for and all that stuff. And okay, so here's what the um, notes should say. So it's like, uh, and then, on top of that, I'm like, okay, okay, get up. I turn off my alarm, it's already been off, actually, so I get up right there, and here I am, because I literally heard the saddest song I've ever heard play off in my head the moment I was like, I'll just rest my eyes for a little bit and fall back asleep, but no, it played, and I got back up, and it's like, that is awesome, like, I didn't think that would happen, like, when I was a kid, I was always, what the heck is, sand, right, sand, of course, I was a kid, I was always like, that stuff is lame, if you want something to happen, it'll just happen, there's no th such thing as, like, you know, I'm tired, it's just you're not strong enough or something, because I used to watch like Dragon Ball Z as a kid, and I was like, yeah, that makes sense, you know, if you want something, you, you just have to think about it, and it happens, or, yeah, and so we're in Undela Bay right now, so, uh, dowsing machine on, nope, okay, of course no item, another empty spot that's entirely pointless, two balls and a giant phallic shape, if you do not know what phallic is, uh, maybe ask your English teacher or something, because like, that's where, no, a drama teacher, that's where I learned that from, Alright, so, actually, you can probably figure out what that is. So, question of the day already. Uh, how does music move you? Because, like, music, yes, it moves me, like, if I'm working out, which I don't do that often anymore, so I don't want to sound like the internet tough guy who's like, hey, guys, I lift, like, a 3,000-pound dumbbell or some shit like that. No, it's just, like, I used to sometimes. So, um, it used to motivate me, like, I'm not really going to do anything in this video, so if you don't, like, want to hear my rant as to, like, the one good thing that happened to me this day... Besides, you know, recording, that's always good, because, like, and it's not like I hate recording, it's just that, let's do this, okay? You have homework, and, uh, you turn, you go to YouTube, right? You find, like, ten different videos you like, you'll day, your day's just gonna fly by as you watch random shit, you don't even know what this is, it's like an Ian cat or whatever. 
it's not like I'm procrastinating. It's just there's such good content on YouTube, and I rarely watch YouTube videos because I'm always like, I have to stay ahead of my schedule. But like, I gave him this time because there's so much good stuff. Like, uh, I'm not even going to. Is there a fog? Hold on, wait. Yeah, I, I thought. Yeah, there is a fog right here. That is so. Well, that's pretty cool. And then if you walk over here, it goes away. That's that's nice. Anyways, so question of the day is, how does music move you, or does it move you at all? Because like. Music doesn't move me a lot, and as I was saying, like, if I'm working out, I usually listen to stuff that really pisses me off, but I've never listened to stuff from this one game, which, I'm so sorry, the name t entirely escapes me, and I'm probably not going to put the music in this uh, video, because I'm not legally allowed to, though I'm pretty sure the game maker wouldn't really, really uh, give a shit. Still, yeah. Oh man, there's a Stardust right there, and there should be another item right over this stuff I'll just wash up on the beach. No. Oh, it's a pearl. Okay, so this is stuff you can sell. Also, you can sell it in is Isaris City. I usually call it Icarus City, but it's Isaris City. You can sell something there. I totally forgot what it was. Isn't that just great? I said in the comment that I would remember where to sell, but then I forget what to sell. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Has music ever moved you guys like that? And I'm pretty sure this is a really stupid question because obviously music moves a lot of people, but like me, the only times it would ever move me is like in that game. Never outside of it, because I never imagined hearing that song outside of the game. And it's not really a song, it's more like an OST, which is an original soundtrack. Basically background music. But it's like so emotional. For me. So it just got me up, and... Ugh. So, yeah, my mood, I'm not sure where it's going with this. It was like, at first I was like, yeah, and now it's more like... Uh... Derp? <laughs> So we are now in Undella Bay, it's in 6 minutes, I haven't really accomplished anything, so I guess I'll just talk about the obvious things, such as, Cynthia is in this how da wa don't battle me, I swear to god, if you, it's an uncanny resemblance, it's surprising to meet another trainer who has intense eyes like that, oh god, my name is Ray, if you, if you battle me, I will just reset the game and cry, I know, I know there's something going on in the abysmal ruins, but please do not battle me. So she's in her friend's villa so she can investigate. Uh-huh. No. Yeah, no. She's in like her 70s or 80s. Basically, she's got as... She's as strong as she is in Pokemon Diamond, I believe, on the rematch. So, not... Oh, wait, maybe Pokemon plur Plural. Yes, right, there's a game called Plural. No, Pokemon Platinum. So, uh, not gonna do that. So, yeah, there's Cynthia in here. You can battle her during every season the first time, but afterwards, then after that, uh, she only shows up in the spring. We definitely will defeat her, but, uh, yeah, not, not my, my team's not in its best uh, condition as is. In fact, I might, might just want to switch out. Oh, I guess I could show you guys the Pokemon in the PC. And while I'm, e while I'm editing this, I'm going to feel like crap, guys, because, like, whenever I don't do, like, super special awesome during the recording, I feel so bad during the editing. That's why I always try and, like, not suck at this. And no, this isn't fake enthusiasm or whatever. Because, like, my friend, I was talking to her, um, this friend of mine, and they were like, you have to fake enthusiasm for uh, Let's Plays, right? And I was like, no! Because, like, the only time I tried to fake enthusiasm was, uh, it was this 1.1. Actually, no, there's probably been, like, a dozen times when I've... But then again, I usually put, like, an edit in there or some kind of overly sarcastic note. Why, where, what... How? What? What am I doing? Why am I taking these guys out? Oh, silly Ray. Ray Kwanzaa, why are you so silly? Okay, so these Pokemon, you're probably wondering, where did you get these, Ray? They don't look legitimate at all, you cheating piece of shit. And to which I say, yeah, you're right, I'm a cheating piece of shit, because I've been really, really sick and busy, so I was too lazy to train three little Pokemon, instead of Pokegen them. So, up first we got Hecatate, Sepeku, which is just a su- the, it's like Samurai Suicide, the word for it, Ancient Samurai Suicide. In Japanese, so yeah, you guys kind of get it because it's a samurai kind of thing. It's got a sword and seppuku suicide, so it's basically naming my far fetch suicide in Japanese. Not that I approve of it, not that I find it funny, just it's fodder. You guys get far fetch point. Is. Uh, also, it's defiant and adamant right there. So that's exactly the one. I actually the one I got was female, but this is like pretty much a clone of the one I got from the Dream World. To which you're saying, Ray, that's so stupid. Why are you using this? Because I said so. And this is just, uh, I asked my friend what Pokemon I should use, and they were like, oh, Flygon's pretty cool. And then uh, and then afterwards, I was like, okay, so this is my team so far. Flygon, Farfetch, and Heracross. And they were like, oh god, I should have said Arceus, you are so fucked. <laughs> so yeah. Question of the day, once again, what, like, 
does music move you like that? Because, like, music doesn't really move me that way unless I'm, like, trying to, like, piss myself off and listen to, like, really anger-inducing music. Like, that, that one time I did that. Or those times I did that at the gym. And to which you're like, Ray, that's not good, making yourself angry. And I'll, I'll just be like, no, no, anger is my, it's like my fuel for when I'm working out. And which is like, you guys never really see me angry in the video. That's probably why, because it goes somewhere else. So, yeah, does music move you guys like that? Like, I don't think I've ever heard something sad and have it, like, affect me like this. Because, like, you know, those sappy commercials? I don't really usually care for those. I mean, that's probably going to sound like a really bad thing. But I mean, like, yes, I feel that that's I should donate to that or whatever if I have cash to donate, which I never actually do. But still, <laughs> like, uh... How do I put this? Like, it never gets me all crying and stuff. Like, when I played the game, it would have that could have made me cry. Probably could have made me cry. And not a lot of things make me cry anymore. Oh, hey, the sun is rising in the games. Oh, my gosh. Let's go towards the water. It's, by the way, it's 7 a.m. I literally just woke up. Because, like, I set my alarm for 6 a.m. And I went to sleep at 1 a.m. Because I wasn't feeling too hot. So, yeah. The TLDR... I was not feeling awesome, and now I feel awesome because I heard a song in my head, which, by the way, I turned on my computer afterwards, and I was like, I need to actually hear this because uh, my mind synthesizes music as well as Jigglypuff sings very terribly. And before we end off the video, basically, if you go, if you go in here, got an amulet coin, battle the dudes and the child in there, you'll get a lot of money, which will come in handy. There's obviously an item back here, because why would they put a pattern? They, that would just be douchey if they put a pattern right here, and it was nothing back here. It was like, you walk right here. Ain't nothing for you, boy. You'd be like, ah, oh, that's so mean. Also, you can sell Ruel with the empty house of emptiness. I don't know what's going on in there. Um, this is probably something, something very something. Also, there's the abysmal ruin. So if you have the HM for dive, I totally forgot where that is. By the way, oh yeah, it's probably in this town someplace. So you got to talk to somebody. If you go that way, there's places to dive in. Which in in like Ruby and Sapphire, you could dive. So also an emerald. So this is kind of a thing from those games. Alright, so I've, I've said this like three times, which I rarely ever do. I barely ever remember the same comment I've asked you in the beginning of the game, or episode, till the last one. I usually say something something entirely different at the end, and then I revise, revise it a third time in the final edit of the video with the uh, text. But this time, the question will be the same. Question of the day, does music drive you like that? Because like, I have had this moment like three times now, because... Yeah. Alrighty, that about wraps it up for today. This wasn't actually like as, oh, I'm so emotional as I thought it would be, which is really great because I didn't want it to be overly like that. So yeah, that about wraps it up for today. Remember to leave a like and do answer the comment question. Like, ah, it, I don't know. I feel really special towards this. This is a very special moment. It requires a history. So yes, comment question. I would love if you did that. And subscribe if you already haven't, though I don't really see a reason for you to subscribe for my emotional outburst of sorts. Well, bye! <laughs>